You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say that's the bad guy. Today, we wanted to share experiences of things that made us go, hmm, is it really directed by Holy Spirit with it when it comes to Jehovah's Witnesses or is it something else? Specifically the elders, how they manage everything in the congregation through a supposed we, they tell us it's all Holy Spirit, but when we look at it, you're like, it's all unanimous decisions here. There's nothing about Holy Spirit going on, especially when you see cases like the ones we're about to tell you. This first one, to me, is kind of one of the wildest things I've seen. This Jehovah's Witness in the congregation just up and disappeared. He ghosted the congregation for, for a while, like nobody had seen him. And then he showed up, and he showed up with a partner. And he sat with a partner next to him. And of course, people start questioning, who's this girl with so-and-so? I wonder if he's just fellowshipped. But, I wonder what's going on. But what he's been doing with his partner is show up before, no, a little after the meeting starts and left before the meeting yeah. ended. Got in a little late and leave, early. left early. So nobody so, got an opportunity to really talk to him. So that went on for a long time. Oh, I would say a couple weeks maybe. And I remember they announced his name. And everybody kind of like, oh, we all knew. <laughs> we knew what was going on. By announce, they announced him as this fellowship. Yeah. No longer a Jehovah's Witness. And he was there. And so was his wife. And they stayed the entire meeting that day. After the meeting, I know the details because afterwards, this guy went around telling everybody. But get this. After the meeting, the wife, she went to the elders and said, hey, uh, why was my husband in this fellowship? They said, this is between the elders and your husband. This is, you know, between us. And she said, well, should the elders in my congregation know what's going on? Ooh, they didn't know she was a Jehovah's Witness. All of a sudden, what do they do? Because they just announced him, to, you know, uh, this, fellowship, this fellowship because he wasn't talking to the elders. He was just showing up, leaving, showing up, leaving, and creating, uh, what's it, what do they call it? Uh, stirring Disturb the pot? Mm -hmm. Disturbance within the congregation. Right. Because they see him with this woman. They know they live together, but they don't know who she is to him. So, <clears throat> within, I don't remember exactly if it was a week, a month. But shortly after, they reinstated him. And they introduced his wife to the congregation. And then not long after that, they announced that he was disfellowshipped. I don't know what happened, but I'm only to assume this guy must have said, you know what, screw everybody. F you, F you, F you. You can all go eat a royal army of No. I'll, I'll bleep out the d but this is a part of the fact that they feel they need to know your business. But how is this organization run by Holy Spirit? Like, where is where is God in all of that decision making? This last one is my personal favorite of outsmarting the elders and outsmarting Jehovah's Witness Holy Spirit. So this one, he's a personal friend of mine. We're really close. We were friends even throughout his whole entire disfellowshipping process and after he was a fellowship. Um, what happened was he was fed up in being a Jehovah's Witness. This is a guy that he's proudly known as a nerd. He doesn't care if you call him a nerd. He loves video games. He loves Dungeons and Dragons. He loves board games. That's his stuff. So he just didn't want to be a Jehovah's Witness anymore. And he knew that now that he was 18 years old... He could just leave, and the elders couldn't talk to his parents about it. So he made up an entire story. He lied about having sex. He was a virgin, and he made up stories about having sex. He went on to tell the elders, I'm having uncontrollable sex with so many women, and I just can't control myself, and I'm not going to stop having sex. So completely off guard. This is a kid at the time. He was a kid who was known to be the little nerdy kid drawing pictures and... When he met with those elders, they actually thought he was about to ask them to reach out further in the congregation. They were not expecting him to say, hey, I've been slinging this everywhere. Right. 
So <laughs> they were caught off guard, and of course they disfellowshipped him, and that was the last day he ever went to the Kingdom Hall. And he says that his parents have no idea, and he chooses not to tell them. So, I mean, maybe now they assume maybe he did do something wrong. But through Holy Spirit, the elders made the decision to disfellowship a kid that did nothing wrong who was lying about well, having sex. Well, yeah, because that's the, that's the kicker to the story. He lied to them and told them that he was a man whore and he didn't want to stop. In all actuality, he was a virgin. <laughs> Thank you so very much for all of the loving messages that you've written on our previous videos. We really do appreciate them. Uh, we read every single one of them. Thank you so very much. Yes, thank you. We really appreciate it. It's very encouraging to see there's other people just like us out there. It took us forever to actually sit down and make videos. But after seeing all the other ones talking about their stories and we were encouraged, I'm like, maybe we will encourage somebody out there. Yes. Whether they're Jehovah's Witness or they used to be or they're just people, you know, wanting to study with the witnesses or come across this page. It is what it is. We're happy that God has led us, led us to this and we'll continue to do this as much as we can. And again, thank you so much. Yes. The more of us that speak up the louder our voice will be. So we appreciate everybody who did it before us, who's doing it with us, and who's going to do it after us. We need more, 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 more. Thank you again. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.